Meet Atlas, the world's most dynamic humanoid robot. Boston Dynamics uses Atlas as a research platform, allowing them to push the limits of robotic mobility and by manual manipulation. An advanced control system and state-of-the-art hardware gives the robot the power and balance to perform impressive athletics and agility. The robot's connections between perception and control allow it to adapt to its surroundings on the fly. Atlas views its environments with depth sensors to generate point clouds of the environment and has model predictive control. Using both hands and equipped with a full range of motion, Atlas can provide an excellent helping hand in a wide variety of jobs. The robot is lightweight at 89 kilograms and 1.5 meters tall and is a combination of titanium and aluminum 3D printed parts to give it the strength to weight ratio needed for leaps and somersaults. Its speed is 2.5 meters per second and is one of the world's most compact hydraulic systems enabling impressive feats of mobility. Atlas has mastered many bipedal tricks like walking, running, jumping, and even backflips, but is still in the early stages of moving objects. It's already performed tasks such as inventory, unpacking, repositioning shock absorbers, and is currently learning a large spectrum of more difficult jobs. This robot demonstrates the possible global deployment and usage of humanoid robots in the factory, warehouse environments, and even warfare. Its battery pack only allows for one hour of operation, which is in need of some major improvements in my opinion. Although it's no longer available to purchase on Boston Dynamics website, they are first and foremost a researching company, so I'd expect to see a new and improved model with more features and abilities in the future. Number two, we have Sophia. Sophia is a humanoid robot developed by Hansen Robotics and was activated in 2016. The robot instantly gained international attention for its human-like appearance and facial expressions that mimic human emotions. Sophia has made many public appearances and has even conducted interviews with media representatives. Powered by AI and neural networks, Sophia has natural language processing capabilities that allow it to engage in conversations and answer questions, coordinate body movements with speech, and is trained to distinguish people's gestures and emotions. The robot uses machine learning algorithms to learn from interactions and improve its responses over time. According to its creator, Sophia was designed for service applications, from assisting older adults at nursing homes to customer service and therapy and education applications. In 2017, Saudi Arabia even granted Sophia citizenship, making it the first robot in the world to obtain legal citizenship in any country. It also became the first non-human to be named Innovation Champion by the United Nations Development Program. Sophia weighs in at 20 kilograms and is 167 centimeters tall. Number three, we have Amica. Amica is a humanoid robot created by English robotics company Engineered Arts. The robot has binocular eye-mounted cameras and binaural ear-mounted microphones to see, hear, and recognize faces, emotions, and voices. Amica can move its head, neck, arms, hands, torso, and face through separate modules to generate more lifelike expressions. It can even blink, and its creators are working on making it walk as well. The robot is powered by Engineered Art's own operating system called Tritium 3, which enables the remote operation of the robot and accelerates its responses through a smart buffering system. Much like Atlas, Emika was built for research purposes in the AI field, machine learning, and robot-human interaction. Amica has a height of 1.87 meters and weighs 49 kilograms. The modular architecture allows for future upgrades both physically and software to enhance its abilities without having to buy a new robot. It's currently capable of drawing, joking, expressing emotions, gesturing, dancing, and many more. According to its creators, it could be used for receptions and greeting at events, exhibitions, and other similar situations. Number four, we have Nadine. Nadine is a social humanoid robot modeled after Professor Nadia Thalman, who founded the University of Geneva's Miro Lab and chaired the Institute for Media Innovation at Singapore. The robotic lookalike was built in 2015, the hardware created by Japanese firm Kokoro, while the software and the hand articulation was performed by Thalman's team at NTU. Like Atlas, Nadine was meant to be a receptionist or a social companion for people with special needs. The robot can read stories to people, show images, send emails, perform video calls, and communicate with their families. It uses AI to speak in six different languages, remembers faces and previous interactions, 
and responds to questions contextually. It even has mood swings depending on how it's being spoken to and treated, which is absolutely terrifying to me. Nadine is built on a conceptual framework that describes the flow of information and processing in a robotic or AI system called Perception Decision Action Architecture. It gathers information about its environment using sensors like 3D depth cameras, webcams, microphones, and motion sensing devices to recognize faces, emotions, gestures, intentions, and surrounding objects. Then, the decision-making component processes all the data to make decisions based on learned patterns. The system quickly turns these decisions into actions. Nadine interacted with over 100,000 people at the Art Science Museum in Singapore during the Human Art Exhibition that was held in 2017 and actually worked as a customer service agent in AIA Insurance Company, being the first humanoid robot to be used as a customer service agent. Number five, we have the Tesla Optimus Gen 2. The Optimus Gen 2 is light years ahead of its previous model and is designed to perform tasks that are unsafe, repetitive, or too time consuming for other humans. It features Tesla designed actuators and sensors, a two degrees of freedom actuated neck, and can walk 30% faster than previous models. There's also a 10 kilogram weight reduction from prior models with improved balance and full body control. The robot is also equipped with new hands for more delicate object manipulation and has tactile sensors in all of its fingers. Tesla said that the Gen 2 is being trained with neural nets end to end and is able to perform new tasks like sorting objects autonomously. It can also perform new tricks like squatting, dancing, and even holding an egg without breaking it. This could be an extremely underrated and underutilized robot, and because Elon Musk claimed it would cost less than $20,000 at Tesla's 2020 AI Day, demand could be as high as 10 to 20 billion units. Thank you all for watching, and to stay up to date with similar content, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button, and until next time, save that money.